So Taylor, on your website and in all your paperwork, you talk very much about the maximum group size of nine and that you have this specific aim to get a small, concentrated group of pupils. Why is that so important when it comes to learning reasoning? Well, the 11 plus exams have always been different from other exams in this sense is that they're not designed to test knowledge of a particular subject. They do it via, if you like, a subject. If you talk about nonverbal reasoning, verbal reasoning and numeric reasoning, if you speak of them as subjects, you could say it's children's ability to do th those subjects. But actually they're not tests of a particular subject. Certainly children do need certain knowledge to do them, but it's meant to be and designed to be mainly a test of children's ability to apply their knowledge and to solve problems, to reason in other words. That's what makes the 11 plus so special and it's what I like best about preparing children for 11 plus rather than for any other subject. And so everything about Sir Taylor's program is designed to bring that out or if you like or to develop those skills, those reasoning skills and it is the reason why the group needs to be of a particular size. You can have a group that's too big certainly and I think we see that in schools and other places but you can also have a group that's too small and one to one is not a group. There is no group dynamic there. Um, even two to one or three to one or often four to one is too small to get the group dynamic going. Whereas from long experience I have found that a group of about nine or even ten, though we don't go to ten, um, but anything above four to about ten works extremely well for teaching this and the reason is because the children can be seated in such a way and they can be engaged in the lesson in such a way that they cannot sit passively in the lesson, they have to take part and the tutor can by name involve every child and ask them questions and put them on the spot to explain the thinking behind their answer or to lead them through a particular um, chain of thinking and also the reason why the group dynamic is important is because the children are taught to listen to one another and evaluate each other's input and answers. This is the way that the lesson is designed to teach. The whole course is designed around that. So the children benefit not only from whatever input the tutor is able to make and whatever that particular pupil is able to make, but from the thinking, input, experience, difficulties, um, of every other child in the class and this is the group dynamic at work. Of course the group di there's more to the group dynamic than just the input and listening to one another. Um, there's also that feeling that we are all in this, I'm not on my own and there's always inevitably and it's not necessarily a bad thing, children looking at other children in the class and think oh he got that right or she got that right and I wasn't quite on the ball and I need to raise my game a little in order to keep up with them. So that works in the children's favour as well if they're positively minded which is what we encourage. So there's a lot within the format and the way we've always done our programme. We've kept it to this kind of size that makes the best of the group dynamic and allows us to teach the children in this uniquely interactive way that if you like really um, develops, reinforces, encourages, fosters, nurtures their reasoning and confidence in their own reasoning and it's what we've always done and if you like um, these, this forte of our program is exactly what the 11 plus exams are designed to test that other school exams apart from CATS are not. Okay. And if you'd like to find out more about the courses available or just have some questions about the 11 plus then give Sir Taylor or one of his colleagues a call on the number provided through the contact us button.